No, I didn't get the video. Now I'm getting the video. Okay. So, uh, I was requested that I do a YouTube video in converting this Chinese Z Star 100cc uh, Honda knockoff, I believe it is, Honda engine knockoff, to battery powered. I'll describe the components that I have. This is just a preview of what it used to look like. I'll do little clips here and there to describe what I'm doing. Today I'm going to be working out of my workshop trailer. Here's a little preview for you guys. Careful not to drool all over your keyboards. Bling bling. Okay, so this is just a cover, gas tank, battery taken out. Next, I'm going to take the engine out and then maybe start some modifications. It's too top heavy with me or pretty much anybody sitting on it. Uh, whenever you would turn a corner, you'd end on two wheels. Now, I got really good at riding it on two wheels. Maybe I'll put a little clip in, but um, yeah, I mean, as fun as two wheels was, it is very easy to flip over. <laughs> now, the reason I first chose to do this project uh, is because I came into a gas tank issue where I broke in the nipple off of the gas tank now i did order parts and I, well, i'm able to replace it but after careful consideration it'd be way better to be electric also since this is meant for a young child my knee broke if it'll focus there it is my knee broke the throttle right in half well right off at the root well that was the easy part everything is engine wise is pulled out i want to lower the center of gravity this shock is i'm going to have to relocate it either i'm going to push it forward so it works forward or i'm going to bring it underneath underneath the bike be relocating that one for sure okay well it's been two hours since I started and I had to cut continue to hack and slash I gotta get this thing lower and lower and lower uh, so far everything's been done with just a grinder but you could use a sawzall and uh, hand tools I've got to the point where I'm about to extend the rear and lengthen the whole thing okay so i'm extending the rear end by taking a piece of c-channel pretty thick wall much thicker than this thin stuff why is that ever thin anyway and uh, technically you could do this with bolts but i'm going to weld it so this whole project seems like it might be able to be done without a welder now it looks like i'm getting rained out but it did pretty good for five hours Just a little walk around here now I do have an issue I have to fix this is not uh, it's only tacked on it's not welded finished but it's far too much shocks too much spring to it so I have to figure out the proper angle for that shock to be effective well the rain stopped so I went back to work I Got the shocks figured out. Shock figured out. Okay, now I 
and it actually physically won't go all the way down to the ground. Some really nice welds. Well, I'm not a professional, but I claim to be. We're still at it. It's kind of getting dark. So, here's what I got. Still smoking. Um, in order to make the the shock usable, because this is so long, it's got to be adjustable for the weight of the rider. So, I put two uh, mounts for the strut, shock strut here. Top one seems to be good for me. Um, as you can probably tell, the the whole thing is getting a little too high, but once I'm sitting on it, it really drops way down. So my daughter's, this was originally my daughter's, um, when my daughter's riding it, we can put it down here. Well, there we are, day two. Uh, rained couple last couple days, so I hadn't had a chance to do any more. The plan is move the steering. I'm going to cut here and here, move this whole thing back, maybe even remove that bar, and tilt it back to probably as far as I can, really, I think. Okay, little Bridget is getting its electrics today i did the steering so basically i just moved it used to be here moved it back so it's more relaxed and it's an electric throttle electronic throttle fits nice and easy now i've got the gear that was on the engine and somehow I'm going to splice this onto the motor. And what I think I'm going to do, <clears throat> this, believe it or not, was on the motor. That little sleeve ring will fit inside and that will give me the detents. Uh, keep the detents. Finished making my gear. Let me know what you think of it. Ooh, bling bling. So, so you can see the other gear is a, a welded on. Not that fast welding job, but the big gear was uh, hardened. So soft metal to hard metal was not not the easiest. Anyway, didn't have to be perfect. I'm gonna spray paint it black, I think. I put the battery mount right here. Uh, I don't have the battery box handy, but that's the mount. It fits in nice and snug. I'll probably still put a uh, strap around it, keep it down, uh, bungee or something. Uh, let's see here, foot peg. Uh, yeah, it's just the right angle. Tires don't hit it. It's a little squishy for your feet. Make a tight turn. You know. Might be rubbing some toes. Well, here we are at the paint shop. And this is the color I've chosen. Whoop. I'm breaking it down into some of the parts, separately painting them. Yeah, a few coats later. Okay, here we are, uh, day three or something. Anyway, um, Okay, I'm making the battery pack. Uh, these are the four Samsung hoverboard battery packs. Um, uh, forget the exact ratings, 36 volt. Uh, so I know it looks like a real mess. But there is a rhyme to my reason here. Um, 
currently I'm putting the circuit breaker in in case there's an issue 30 amps um, I believe I'm going to be drawing 26 28 amps uh, so 30 is a little tight uh, if that doesn't work I can replace it with something a little bit higher maybe a 40 but um, I want to be safe as well so these are now fully charged so they're extremely dangerous uh, I accidentally touched two leads at one point and it was like a welder it just flashed and melted instantly so be careful no rings or else you could be in big trouble okay so I'm going to be building a secondary box uh, this one is clear well bluish but clear this one will be on top of this uh, battery pack and it will contain uh, here I made this uh, it was just a kit I bought at a local electronics place it's a um, voltage meter so that will give me a readout uh, you know as you're going around you know it says a cutoff I think of 31 31 volts so if the if the power goes down 31 volts the bike's gonna stop well little bridge is basically done I think it looks really good came back from the paint shop looking great yeah I'm all finished sorry about the wind all seems to work good but there's no power very very low low power well I think I figured it out oh it's definitely my sprocket sizes I had a suspicion of that a while ago but if uh, this thing ever got up to speed at the sprocket size it is now have a look at this probably 100 miles an hour <laughs> time to find some sprockets I have a new sprocket I'm chain in case I need it uh, yeah this one is a 48 tooth I believe uh, and then I have a 10 tooth with weld on sprocket that's going on here instead of the 14 I think it was that was on there yeah, here's the new sprocket setup. It's a uh, 10 tooth, 245, I think. Uh, I believe I could have used a bigger if I could get it. Maybe uh, I would even have went like 70 if I could have got it. And I bolted this one, so I could always make another one. Go. Cool.